guys, this is my V. I wanna swing my man, my man, my man. It's, I know, like eating in you know, a Eggplant. And this is the first week. Guys, I was just making um, a prayer board. So this is what I have written. And I'm going to stick it on my prayer board. I need to get a board from this Chinese store. So I'm going to look for one when I step outside here. Yeah. Hey guys, this is my V prayer board. guys good morning i'm very so dirty so i'm just making detox um uploading things for my business and now i just want to clean my bed let me show you guys what's happening you guys the after once i clean my prayer board my vision board are there my bible i need to remove that box out because that's why my bible was i'm just going to place my bible there guys i'm going to wake up now so this is my outfit and this is the first workout of the year and i'm so excited to lose some weight yeah tomorrow A few moments later. Hey guys, I just got back from the salon and I just want to change into my maid outfit. Oh, how that one maid outfit. Yeah, so this is what I'm changing into. So this is the hair that I did. I love it so much. And the salon that I went to um that's my twin sister's um, what do you call this customer so i decided to support her because we are supporting people who support us 2024 period so i just received new stock i'm going to sort that out and i'm making detox so i'm just going to wrap that on top and then wear the bonnet which I got from Pinsile Fashion Alert. It was only 80 kwacha then, but due to the high rates, I'm selling these bonnets for 100 kwacha. Others are going for 120, depending on the type that you want. Yes. Your skin always looks good when you're from doing your hair. And I wanna do demo planning tonight because I know I'll be home. The only time that I'll be leaving will be Friday because I'm going to do my nails from Polished by Mabella by name. 
Yeah, she's also my good customer. So I've added ginger. These are the spices that I've added. Uh, moringa, ginger, cinnamon. And let me add the lemon and the kawawasha. So I'm going to add apple cider ginger with mother. I'm on the floor and I'm shooting content for my business page. So let me show you guys what I'm doing. Just a glimpse. My dress is so close, I need to bath and oil it and just. This pineapple paint. Hey guys, I'm working. Not yet, what, what? Uh uh. 2023, we are working. Oh, guys i'm so tired and i don't know what's happening with this slide but the electrician will be coming tomorrow so, hey guys i'm done with my day like i am done so look at my hair it's hair ring or whatever <laughs> yeah so let me show you guys what i'm eating so i'm having this for dinner If it's dinner or if it's whatever yeah so i ate in shima with fish and kalembla and it was amazing i had that at, at the saloon when i went and i wasn't even planning on eating that but um amanda asked me like faith what do you want to eat and i was like what do they say here and she was like okay there's um shima I was like, wait there's uh, there are restaurants across these shops and she was like, yeah. And I was like, give me Shima, child. I've known her in Shima in two weeks, and that's crazy. Ever since I moved out, I've not been having Shima. So I just prefer pasta, um, Irish potatoes, and I'm on a diet, and I'm preparing myself for Daniel's fast. Yeah. Because of my skin, nobody can tell me anything about my skin because my skin is skinny. And the fact that I did a new hairstyle. Come on now. Come on now. Skin, what? My skin really looks good. I know, like, it's in clean. I've only been detoxing for three days. And I, got, I can already, already see the difference. Like, it's really glowing. I've gained weight, and you can see, like, a mini double chin. But it's gonna go soon rather than late. Just give me three months. Three months. That's it. That, that's what I need. I'm gonna snap back. Period. Cause as I said earlier on, like when before I moved out, I was binge eating, I was stress eating, cause I am an emotional eater. Whenever I feel bad, like I just order food, buy food, chop, 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 chop. But now that I live alone, like no, that's not gonna happen. Cause I've got goals to accomplish this year, and I'm not ordering anything out. Mm -mm. I'm done with that life. I'm just eating clean and. It really feels good, like living alone. It's a very, very good feeling. My sister was asking me, like, are you scared at night? I'm like, no, girl. No, like, why should I be scared? Because I said the living God. Why should I be? Well, I the pajamas that I'm wearing. It's a set. But I'm going to get cute, short, sexy pajamas this year. I like, can't wait. I ordered one today and... From Twin City Fashion Alert, so I'm gonna show you guys when it comes. So, my god, I talk too much, like, I talk too much, but yeah, I'm just trying the lighting like everywhere in the house. And then tomorrow, Today I'm doing a skincare routine as you saw I'm from waking out and so I'm just wiping off 
the water because I'm from washing my face. So I got this from Trinzile Fashion Alert. Let me show this to my hands. So if you're washing your face in the sink and you don't want your hands to be wet, yeah, you just have to use this. When you're washing, washing, washing. Let me just moisturize my lips because they look so dry. So to moisturize my lips, I'm using Vaseline, of course. I'm a Vaseline girly. Yeah. So I saw a comment somebody was laughing at me. I was seeing as in the bathroom in the shower. You guys like I mean I'm not used to this shower thing. I've always lived in houses where there are bathtubs and you guys I call them bathrooms, whatever it is. I don't call them bath. I swear to God. But my skin already been just good, you guys. It is giving glass. Come on now. <laughs> I'm I'm plucking off my pimples. I always use earbuds and a need. So let me just get a needle from my other bedroom yeah i'm back guys and you guys if anybody knows where i can find this pod um antiseptic lotion skin clear pharmadem by pharmadem <sighs> i really need this like i really need this oh wow yeah this is the mirror The new and a pin. I just recently got this. Of course, from Twinsy. Mm -hmm. And disclaimer i do this for my skin because i know my skin type i don't want you guys to come for me in my comments like last time i posted like a boat pusher product and somebody was like they reacted on her skin to be honest you're supposed to know your skin type first and foremost visit a dermatologist and they'll advise on what product you can be using know your skin my skin is um I don't add oils on my skin i only add whatever i'm doing is what works for my skin and if you guys want to try it at if you, if you guys want to try it out do it at your own risk but as i've said know your skin type please guys please <laughs> hey you guys so i am done with plucking out the bad things that are on my skin some pimples i don't really have i don't have i really don't i don't i don't have pimples really but there was some like to my i don't know what was seated in my skin those things that look like pimples but i don't know i just don't know what they're called yeah so it's how my skin looks and then i'm going to um scrub my skin with my face with um this concoction which i made so i put there four tablespoons of cinnamon um one lemon squeeze juice and one quarter teaspoon of coffee one quarter teaspoon of sugar and then i mixed it together then this is what i had as i said if you want you can make this at home or oh, people say i don't know people say oh, but i used to make this some time back and i decided to start making it again and it worked wonders my sister was even telling me like wait i'm starting to make that um turmeric concoction yeah this is also like skin brightening like this is a natural skin brightening that you need yeah so i'm just going to scrub gently like so yeah then i'm going to leave it on my skin for some time yeah. so this is what i'll be using for scrubbing my face oh yeah mamba said i shouldn't be using asante on my face only my body yeah my body except from yeah my face and i noticed that my neck is a bit dark so i also add the turmeric because it's a natural skin brightening so this is the scrub that i'll be using for my face and i'll see how it will work and i know it work well because i as i said or as i mentioned i was using this in 2020 i used to make it 
at home and i never used to afford to buy any um products for my skin so me and hope just used to use um this stuff how she never even used to use it she used to laugh at me like girl you're becoming light what's happening but then how she started using it now a pinch like, babe it's working well for my skin and i'm like okay you know so this bad i'm like let me get back to my zoom yeah so this is what's happening and you know what like it's so gentle it's not rough there are no hard stuff in it it's just so gentle and smooth and i'm also being gentle on my skin because i don't want any bruises at all i don't want to leave this for 15 minutes after i finish scrubbing gently you guys please don't be rough as i said i am not telling you guys to do this i'm just showing you guys what i'm doing but if you guys want to try it you should but please don't come telling me no it didn't work you guys we are different people we are different all human beings are different we all have different skin types we all like different things we all do different things or in different career paths or occupations are different so same applies to skin types my skin type won't be the same as yours my twin sister's skin type won't be the same as mine so i'm just seeing what works not what works for the whole world no i don't forget to brush your teeth and scrape your tongue as well you take care of yourself and you'll be saying no i'm single i don't know what to do with my life go to the gym do that workout lose some weight lose that food Start taking care of your skin. Start reading books. If you like reading books, if you love start if you love series like I do in reality shows, I'll binge on there. As you can see, I'm taking care of my skin. I'm from waking out. I'm eating clean. Like there's just a lot of things to do while you're waiting for the right person. I'm 28 years old, and to be honest, I am not in a rush. <laughs> to be honest, I, I, yeah, the least person who like I feel like my twin sister yesterday was in serious. Faith, I've never seen you complain. Like, no, I want to get married. I know, like, we've reached that midlife. It's not really midlife crisis, but it's like a crisis where you feel like you want to get married, you want to start a family, have children, and we're in a different generation and the world has evolved and everybody's on the internet we're able to see each other's lives what we're up to right now and this fly because nothing is tough to do a lot of things while you're single find a hobby i find a hobby you can start working out you can start taking care of your skin you can read a book you can watch series on net like netflix has got a lot of series there's show marks there is a Hulu, there is um, Amazon series, something like that. There's a lot of things that you can do. Take, go for walks, go to the gym, meet new people. And for me, I've met, I've had friends like just from the gym. I've had amazing friends just by going to the gym. I'm on social media, I'm interacting with people. I've met Chitalu. Shout out to Chitalu if you're watching this. I met her from Instagram. Just don't sit. In the house just waiting for life to happen you can start that business which you've always wanted to start and don't feel shy starting that business because many people feel shy posting that businesses and starting from the ground up me and my sister started from zero we say selling clothes at onza to our friends tavon yembezi petronella but our first customers ever like i even remember like the days when we started to Nzile. we had literally like 14 followers on facebook and instagram but our number keeps growing you get my point so don't feel shy start that business go to church for me i got to church last year i was going to church and this year i want to be consistent i missed some some few months like when i was going through it but now like i'm back i spent my new year's at church and this sunday i'm going to church and i want to be consistent i want to be going 
to church every sunday this year like every sunday i want to be going to church i don't want to miss i, I really don't want to miss um church services this year and get a devotional journal for me um the first thing that i do like it's right now that i moved in my house i've been consistent like not doing what i journal i read um i'm reading the bible app because me and my sister ordered um our devotional books and they're not yet here so we are reading from the bible app and i've been consistent ever since they started even before the year ended last year 2023 i've been on my zoom just having my devotions praying and i've been praying in truth and it feels so amazing i made my, my i mean i made my vision board last year and almost everything came to pass and i thank god for that and it's crazy like i put a lot of things that were so like like faith where will you get the money from but everything you guys like almost everything when i say almost everything the only thing that didn't come to fruition was being in love or finding my husband or well, not me finding him finding me that's the only thing that didn't happen but everything vision on my vision board came to pass and that's private so i'll keep it private like that i showed you guys my prayer board but i didn't show you in details like what was in there yeah privacy is key i just showed the scriptures which i put on my um envelopes inside there were prayer requests so i kept that private so it's really important just to find yourself love yourself this is just self-care for me what i'm doing what i do um day to day i do my business which i love and i'm also finding myself i am watching um some series on netflix and also um reality shows so i'm keeping myself busy i'm never bored like bored like i'm never to be honest i always find something to do and i don't mind the devil's workshop so always keep your minds on positive things keep your mind keep yourself busy rather keep yourself busy don't just sit in bed wondering oh will i find a man no you guys like do a skincare like i'm doing read a book watch a series go to church journal do all those things and you find that by the end of the year you'll be able to say i had the best year i didn't have a budget last year 2023 but it was that year where i'm having the best in the waste time of my life you know but at the end of it all i'm like thank you god for the blessings thank you for everything and avoid sleeping around because that creates sore ties um i've been celibate for some time yeah i don't know if i should talk about this but i feel like when you're celibate that also brings blessings because you are pure even if you're not celibate i don't know i'm not going to judge anybody but if you're abstaining i'm not perfect of course i do sin but i try by all means to avoid sin so avoid sin so that you guys can draw your blessings from god even when you're praying you're like okay yes maybe i insulted maybe i did something crazy but it wasn't intentionally you know their prayers when we're praying we're like thank you god forgive me for the sins that i've committed both knowingly and then knowingly but let our sins be unknowing they're not knowing you, you know like when i sin today god will forgive me tomorrow when i sin today god will forgive me tomorrow let's avoid that let's be kind let's be gentle to everybody to strangers I get him on the young why are you rude to a taxi man if somebody is rude to you be kind to them because they will see like okay this girl is kind why am i being rude to them not until you just get in a taxi you are seated say hi it's important it's just it just shows that you good man and say hi oh hi good afternoon yeah you see a stranger hey, but i know you from oh hi like just be kind don't be really closed off mean like no let's be polite let's be kind that's also draws blessing you don't know who's blessing somebody be like oh okay that girl yeah she's good you don't even have to have a conversation with somebody just for you too but you know like for, for me i'll see somebody i'm like okay oh that girl because most of the times i see my customers i tell myself oh, they call a customer you know she's so kind she's so cool yeah yeah that you get my point like oh, i don't, don't think i've ever had like really rude customers like who've come for pickups like, everybody's are so sweet kind and those are blessings that's how we get blessings god won't just bless you like Oof. sometimes it's through people sometimes it's through our friends sometimes it's through our parents even strangers so let's be kind let's take care of ourselves 
2024 so that at the end of it all we'll all say we had the best year even if it won't be the best year you know certain things happen in life like this um diseases all of that but if you put yourself first if you're praying for your um, beloved ones you see that at the end of it all you're going to be yeah proud of the year that you had for me i'm really proud of the years that i've had starting from like 2020 i really thank you of myself i lost a weight even if i've gained some weight but i know i'm going to lose it because i'm in a good space so my advice for you guys is just to take care of yourself like take care of yourself love yourself do that self-love and it will pay off yeah habits are built in 21 days so start now and yeah if you like this video you guys you know just comment something you guys are so quiet i know people who comment gina chitalu i always say this you guys you never like interact with me so please let's interact say something in the comments like on youtube like subscribe is this too much to ask come on now <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys so much let me just wash my face why am i saying thank you so much because this video ain't done at all so let me just wash my face and then it has actually been 15 minutes so i'll just be talking and talking and talking and talking so let me wash my face then i'll come back because i need to demo plan my skin i'm actually going to demo plan my skin you guys before i shower so that everything just you know yeah but i know you're supposed to demo plan your skin after you're done showering but what i'm going to do i'm going to demo plan it before bathing then when i go and bath i'll go and wipe off but i won't be washing my face in the shower i'm just going to be washing my body because i'm washing it before yeah i'm just wiping off even my neck looks better are you serious wow so now i'm starting to demo plan be gentle on your skin so um they my planning right now so let's go this is the before and the after no lotion no anything before after can you see that hey you guys so this is what my skin looks like and that's how demo planning works my skin is smooth like a baby's bum yeah so let me just go and take my shower and then I will see you guys in the next clip. This has been so therapeutic, just talking and doing like this. So I moisturized it with this. And it looks beautiful, you guys. My skin is literally glowing. This is like night time. So if you think your skin is good for demo planning, then go ahead and do it. My skin looks nice. Um, I've showered. So you guys don't mis misconstrued what i said about loving yourself i love love and i will wait for the time that it finds me of course i want to get married i want to have my own babies and my own husband to do life with i want to sing my man my man my man child. but at god's timing everything is perfect you know, sometimes you may seek like God. I've had prophecies who have told me I'll get married when, but God has got the right person for you, and God wants to be with you to be the woman that He called you to be. You know, so sometimes you may find purpose while you're single, and you might accomplish certain things while you're single. Like for me, I'm a good example right now. Yeah, my focus is on myself. So, ladies, love yourself first, and the man will find you while you are loving yourself that's what i simply wanted to put out there i'm not a feminist by the way i am not yeah i love love and i want to do everything for my man and that's who i am 
yeah the bible says the bible has got everything that you need to listen to and i don't go against the bible yeah because i'm a believer in christ so that's that so ladies love yourself take care of yourself but look at how i'm taking care of myself now look at my shower it's a giving <laughs> yeah so love yourself i came here for some lighting though it's not perfect but i was like okay let me do some aesthetics you know so have a good night let me just make myself but this is 21 hours oh my god i took long prepping my whatever at least i managed to do everything that i needed to do so now make something for myself to eat right now yeah so let's go in the kitchen this is what i'm having for dinner girl dinner <laughs>